We start with a multi-department investigation involving federal agents. Right now, area detectives continue working around the clock on a series of connected murders. The victims, sex workers. And now tonight, only on four, a woman's pleading for your help to close the case involving her mother. She was the victim of a similar St. Louis killer 40 years ago. And News 4's Gabriela Vidal reports these new cases reopen wounds and yearning for closure. We are targeted and, it, and it's sad. And I, yeah, we just, we need a voice. Lorena Barrows has been fighting to give her mother, Sharon Hurley, a voice. I was six months old when my mother was murdered. It was um, February 24th, 1981. Barrows says her mother was 24, a sex worker, but on the path of getting them both out of St. Louis for good. I don't know if she was working the night she was picked up, um, but somebody picked her up or multiple people picked her up. Um, she was raped. She was strangled. She was um, stabbed. Uh, just a lot of horrific things happened to my mother. And then she, her naked body was thrown off the Poplar Bridge that connects St. Louis to East St. Louis. It's a case that still remains unsolved to this day, 40 years later, and quickly became a wake up call in multiple ways for Barrows. I became a mother myself, um, and I was also. Uh, a working girl in Las Vegas and it just came full circle of I can't end up like my mother. I just think that my mother was forgotten and it's not and and I think women that work and escort and do whatever we we are a lot a lot of times we are forgotten and we don't have a voice and it's not fair. It's not unusual for crimes against sex workers to take a while. <laughs> Um, for a variety of reasons. And un unfortunately, they don't always get solved. And that's a fear that remains heightened today as crimes against sex workers have recently escalated in St. Louis. Right now, two murders involving sex workers in the metro are under investigation, police saying possibly the same person. Barrows is not just urging for justice for her mother, but also swifter action for these and other women like her. For them not to be forgotten and not for their profession or their lifestyle to be what comes first. If you know anything about these recent killings or the 1981 case, you can contact St. Louis Police here or Crime Stoppers. Their number is on your screen. Gabriela Vidal, News 4.